It is one thing to have saved out a class. What we would like now to do is import it into a different project and take advantage of the work that we have done before. So I have created a new Alice project that has only the ground and the camera and, and the scene in it. And now I want to add my walking Mad Hatter to it. So I click on Setup Scene. Find the My Classes tab in the gallery. And there's my new Mad Hatter from the walking Mad Hatter. So I click to add it to my project. When I, and I give it a name, give, uh, if I wish, click OK. And now what comes up is a dialog box that's going to show us the procedures that we are going to bring in with Walking Mad Hatter. And the check marks give us a chance to say, yes, I want them, or no, I don't. There's a, a column here of procedures that Walking Mad Hatter may already have. And then there's an, there's an end result of what is going to be now in this Mad Hatter class. It's important to recognize and remember that Alice 3 works with classes, not with objects. So I'm not bringing in one object that has this behavior, but that in fact I am redefining or merging this new Mad Hatter class with the existing Mad Hatter class that may already be in my project. I click on Next, and it will show me the contents of each of these uh, new behaviors. I click on Finish, and hopefully my new Mad Hatter should appear. There he is. And now when I go back to Edit Code, I see all the functions uh, that I had created in the other project are now, now available to me. And so I can, again, recreate that program if I want with the walk start, count three times, walk, walk end. And when I run the project, there he goes, toddling off the screen.